Abhijit Mukherjee, thank you very much for joining us on Cybersecurity Asia uh, thank here you, in Kuala Chris. Lumpur. Thanks a lot for inviting me for this particular chat. No problem. Now, you we presented on API security. Uh, this is, I think, maybe my third interview on API security so far this year. Uh, awesome. And given on the back of, say, the Optus breach, uh, it's quite a significant issue. Yeah. Uh, but it's also one that can be relatively easily addressed, right? Yeah, uh, as you rightly said. Um, and I'm really glad that you are right now doing the third one instance where you have come across API security. That means uh, awareness is coming up. Uh, people are getting more and more aware about uh, where APIs are. And um, so to answer whether it is relatively easier or not, let me tell you, this is one layer beneath the ground. So it's underground work. Uh, you need to do a lot of discovery, cataloging, and once you could actually discover, then only you can actually curate what are the vulnerabilities. Sometimes you can change the APIs, sometimes it's not possible. So then you need to provide certain kind of logs, parameters, and all those things. So it's not so easy. Um, it takes a little bit of uh, journey to mature in this particular work. But then uh, only discovery in itself is a big thing because you are aware how many APIs the organization is at least publishing or consuming. And, and once you've got that discovery, you need to monitor it over time, Obviously. right, in case th uh, something changed. The other thing you mentioned is sort of the number one thing is understanding the life cycle yeah. uh, of both software development uh, and the con connectivity of, of each of the APIs. Yeah. What's some of the challenges there from a large organization? What would they expect to have? How many API connections would they would they have potentially have? So tens and thousands. Yeah. Uh, depends like if the organization is operating on an e-commerce side or they are into commodity selling, service selling. So that's where it is for example McDonald's. Uh, so they have got massive amount of API service but then they have got their security controls in place. But most of the other organizations who actually do not uh, know uh, actually how to go about uh, API security, that's where the whole challenge is. The developers end up creating an API string, but then that doesn't have the right kind of parameters or they do not align to any best practice. So that's where the whole risk comes up. And that's where the brand risk also comes into the whole picture. Because that API can be actually, uh, you know, attacked with an enumeration attack, and then um, privacy information can be intercepted, or financial fraud could be actually conducted, and that that's where the brand is, the brand gets impacted. And some of the monitoring, the data exfiltration, you know, the amount of data that can be lost, it, again, is quite a significant in terms of yes. the consequences. Yes, API as against application uh, cyber uh, attacks. API cyber attacks are pretty less because it requires, as I said, under the ground and a little bit extended period of research, reconnaissance, and then the attack is actually being uh, materialized. So then uh, what actually happens, you will see frequencies are less, less number of news and reportings coming up yeah. with API uh, breaches, but then the volumes are huge because once the perpetrator get successful in uh, you know, sucking out or exfiltrating data out of the uh, APIs there. Because of lack of monitoring, people in the organization are completely unaware. For example, the telco breaches that have actually happened with um, APIs, they were unaware for about uh, over a uh, year period of time, which is like... Uh, but where should the accountability sit there? I mean, it's, it's not like this is a relatively new thing, but you know, to have though that API vulnerability for a telco, uh, where should the accountability sit? I think <laughs> it's simple. Who has actually used the API? At the end of the day, who made the money uh, by using that API in the business side? So it's a business. So accountability goes with the business. You need to ride the bike, but with the proper protection gear in place. Yes. So it's as simple as that. I, I don't know what else to say on that in terms of does that sit with the CISO or is that up to the board? See, CISO, and, and what technical insights should you have to understand that, that that was a potential risk? See, CISO is more of a advocate of security control. So he is more like a, a, a representative that I've got these, 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 you know, protection gear. Please use that. Now, if the business person or the IT or the application developer doesn't want to listen to that, and that needs to be actually disciplined. So that's where I think 
uh, where the business, IT, everybody. So security is everybody's yeah. responsibility. Is it something that should be picked up during an audit or a red team exercise? It, it should be picked up uh, essentially at red team exercise because that's like more adversarial view on my infrastructure or, yeah. or the organization's infrastructure. I think that's where it should be picked up. And audits should have uh, extensive questionnaires about asking Correct. a very bullion question, simple. Do you use APIs? <laughs> if no, you're out. Yeah. If you yes, then you what have these hundred other questions that you need to then answer. <laughs> exactly right. So until unless audit comes up as a ghost to actually pester the IT department yeah. or the developers like that, the fear of that will not actually go back into the whole system, and then it will not make them disciplined. So audit once they actually raise the red flag, they show out the non-compliances, NCs, and all those things. Then the curative action or kappas actually actually uh, follows with that. Nice. So that that side is also important. Other side is where vendor risk. That should also uh, have audit ba um, API based uh, questions and all those things. Because most often organization to organization, it's B two B kind of a uh, integration corridor. So organization love to actually integrate using APIs. It's easier in yeah. the cloud world at least. So vendor risk should also be questioning. Uh, uh, the ecosystem partners. Are you going to use APIs? Then yes. Okay. What are the security standards that you actually follow? So all those things uh, are there. So you got the audit, you got the vendor risk, and then you got the security's core job to ensure that APIs have been discovered, have been secured, and been monitored. Beautiful. So these are the three pillars. Well, you outlined that yesterday in your session. Uh, thank you, Abhijit, uh, for your contribution here to Cybersecurity Asia. Uh, enjoy the rest of your time in Malaysia. Thanks a lot, Chris, uh, for inviting me, and it was lovely speaking here.